This is Bill and Deb North of the Florida Weekend Warriors. We finally got a cancellation. We're going camping this weekend. We're going to Oscar Shear State Park. It's on the Legacy Trail and it's right by Casey Key. We might go to the beach. We might go biking. We'll see you there. See ya. We're off for another adventure. We have arrived, we'll see you at the campsite. We are in site 103, it's a pull through. And you would think it's a great site, but man, you had to make this super hard 90 degree turn to get in here we made it but boy did we scrape all these these bushes you can see there's my tire track right through all these bushes there was no other way there was a tail swing was going to catch that pole over there but we we got it in here just went super slow we can't see any scratches it's a nice big sight there's Miss Deb. She looks like a magic marker. We had to get, put the trailer all the way in the very front so that we could get a slide out out. So you can see we're almost, we're almost to, we're almost to the road. But this tree will protect us. So we're off enough. Just doesn't look like it because this side over here is back this way a little bit. But Oscar Shear always has the water in the weirdest places and you share it with your neighbor so i had this extension on here this is a long hose but i just barely make it it's all the way in the bushes all the way over here you see share it with the guy next door but you're actually pretty far from the camper but it made it that's all that mattered time for our cold beer we're all set up Furniture's looking good. We got the new dinette cushions in. They look good too. They're just about an inch or two longer, so they're stuck in there pretty good. Probably won't need the Velcro because they're kind of hard to get in and out. We're really glad we fixed them because that peeling was just getting really annoying. We're gonna go on a bike ride. This thing is on the Legacy Trail, but we're gonna go out the other entrance, go over to a new restaurant right by Casey Key. It's a brand new restaurant right on the water. You could even go there by boat. Wow, I just realized. Look at there's still these dead trees from the hurricane. I'm glad our camper's not parked underneath any of these. Those branches are sure to come down someday. So let's head off for a bike ride. Here's a one-lane bridge. Supposedly the people going this way had the right of way. And the other side is a stop sign. This creek goes along a bunch of the uh, campsites to the back. We come here next time, we're gonna bring the paddle boards and go down this creek. So we're biking out the front entrance. Hope you can hear me over the car noise, but there's a sidewalk that goes all the way along US 41. And you can see you get down so far and you cross the median into that neighborhood. Takes all the way to Casey Key. So right here is where the sidewalk ends and you cross the median and go through the neighborhood and you can get all the way to the other, to the strip mall on the other side. Right here at this uh, Luminary and Tamiami Trail. There's no cars. So after you cross the major highway, you just take the first right. And there's this road that takes you right to the public shopping center through this residential neighborhood. Doing all right, Deb? Yep. Yep, nobody's gonna hit you. <laughs> Look like a magic marker. This Publix also has a brewery in the shopping center and an Ace Hardware. Ace Hardware has lots of beach stuff and stuff in it. We'll probably stop there on the way back. Going behind the shopping center, there's too much traffic in front of it. So you can... Up here to the left is a sidewalk that'll take you all the way to the restaurant. There's also a boat ramp and a park down there too. Right by the one lane bridge. 
right by the one lane bridge is the restaurant. We made it. I'm not sure they have a bike rack though. Looks like a super cool restaurant. Right on the water. Lock up the bikes. Here's our view. We made it. Kind of a cool restaurant. Pretty good view. Boats going by. A menu. White lunch. To get one of these tables along the edge, you have to have a reservation. Even if the tables are empty, they won't let you sit along the edge without a reservation. The triple tail was delicious. I was so excited when I got it, I forgot to take a video of it. Our waiter's name was Fred and he was an excellent waiter. He said all these docks are owned by the restaurant and if we want to come here by boat that you certainly can use their docks and tie up. We will definitely be back but next time we will have a reservation. It's pretty cool. Just tables go all the way around. Beautiful day on the water. Blackburn Park. You can launch kayaks and canoes and whatever here. We'll just hang out and go fishing. Here's this old drawbridge. I bet it's 80 to 100 years old. Single lane. Turn sideways. It's... Closer look at the old swing bridge. It's kind of windy. Probably not going to hear this. Water is clear. Lost this Debbie. Cool. Swing sideways. Casey Key Fish House is right over there. We had a great lunch, went over to the uh, swing bridge and had a nice little view of boats going underneath the swing bridge. Now we're back at the campsite. We're going to cool off and think about going over to the lake. So we'll see you in a little bit. Yep. There's no alligators in the lake, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. I think, Deb, it's not too cold. Kind of clear. So it, we always thought it was spring fed. There's actually a well that feeds the lake. The well the well's over there in the one corner. It's actually kind of warm. It's about 80 some degrees. At least we're not the only ones in the lake. It's actually very relaxing. It's just the right temperature. I don't see any alligators. The bubbler's going over there, way over there. There's definitely fish in here. Little yeah, I see all the little minnows. Well, I'm going to be able to see them in the camera, but it's a good sign of life. Gonna see if you can see the minnows.
It's a, it's a snake. It's a snake. I know. It's a snake. Look at these. There he goes. He went underwater. Well, in closing out this weekend's video, we love coming here. It's hard to get in here. We tried to make a reservation for next year and we couldn't get in here. What's really cool about this park is it's right on the Legacy Bike Trail and you can go paddling, paddle boarding and take your kayaks down the creek. And it's really close to a bunch of restaurants and other stuff. The only bad thing about this thing is most of the waterfront sites, you don't really have very good access to the water. Only about 20% of them do. And some of them are really small and your camper can't fit in there. And the bathhouses are kind of old and the road needs along the river needs to be redone because it's pretty old. But other than that, and one more thing we don't like about this state park is the dump station. You have to go all the way around the loop to get to the dump station. And if there's more than two people dumping, they block the traffic on that whole loop. You can see once there's just this one little area and then we've been here, we've waited an hour to get out of the park, even though we didn't have to dump. It's pretty old. But other than that, we love this park and can't wait to come back. So hope you like this video. Give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and we will see you on our next adventure. See ya.